Hello, hello. I am back from Tucson. This is Sarah Ayler with SoftLexCompany.com. And um, I was supposed to have a guest today, Tracy Proctor from uh, Tiracast. Unfortunately, we were shipping her two orders at the same time and it got confused. And only one of the orders went out and the kit didn't make it to her. So she has graciously uh, agreed to join us uh, next Friday, not this coming Friday, because that's Valentine's Day, but the following Friday, a week from this coming Friday, um, which maybe Thomas can look on the calendar and tell us the exact date. I feel like it's the 17th, possibly, or the 18th. Um, she'll be with us at 3 p.m. Pacific that day with the Chocolate Kiss design kit. So if you bought one and were excited to see what Tracy was going to make with it, I'm very sorry, but we are going to have her on on 2-17 um, and make up for it. So today I'm on my own. I'm going to be designing a little bit more from the kit. And then I'm also doing a Zoom after party with the Chocolate Kiss design kit. And we've never done that before, um, but I thought it would be fun in honor of Valentine's Day to get together. So anyone who has already purchased the kit should have received a link to join the Zoom party at four o'clock. Thomas, you'll have to make sure I, I don't go overboard and miss my Zoom party. Um, keep me on track here. So um, we will be gathering on Zoom. I don't know if it'll just be me and maybe one of you because we've never done it before. Maybe it'll be me and 10 of you. Maybe it'll be me and none of you. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. So if you have the kit and you would like to join me, you're more than welcome. If you want to share anything you've made with the kit, I would love to see it. If you want to beat along and just hang out and talk about uh, my time in Tucson or ask any questions about Softlex, this will be your chance. And if you guys really like doing the Zoom after party, it's something I'd love to start scheduling with our kits maybe mid-month. Uh, after the kit reveal, just to sort of touch base on the kit again and and get an, another opportunity to hang out and uh, talk about it. Let's see what Becky had to say. Becky said, I wish I could stay for the Zoom, but Wednesdays are my axe throwing night. Oh, well, you can't miss your axe throwing night. <laughs> I would, I'd love to go with you. That sounds uh, like a ton of fun. Um, Melanie says, if you need someone to hang out with, you can send me an extra link. Okay, well, if you have a kit, Melanie, and anyone who still buys the kit through 3.30 Pacific time today, Kristen so sweetly promised to go back in and send individual links to those people. So if you want to join us uh, with the Chocolate Kiss Design Kit, there's only, I think, 20 kits left now. But if you want one, you grab one before 3.30, next 25 minutes, and then Kristen, before her end of the day, will send you a link to join me in the Zoom at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. So uh, there's so much going on. First and foremost, I just got back from Tucson. I missed all of you. Your boxes, your cur curated collections are coming together. I have like three more boxes coming with stuff in them that go into the collection. Um, but we have our item list together. They're looking beautiful. I think mine is going to be really unique compared to some of the other boxes that you may have purchased from Tucson. Mine actually includes absolutely no, I think, no bead strands, no bead strands. It's a lot of supplies. So lots of different kinds of supplies that I think you're going to have fun making with. We are a supply company. So I looked at it from uh, that point of view. There are beads just no bead strands, which I think most others will probably have a lot of bead strands in their boxes. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what you think. I'm excited to hear. I know it was a big chance to to um, pay for something and pre-order it and not know what you're getting. I hope I exceed your expectations. 
Um, but we will we'll see when you get it. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited because I think I've got some really cool stuff in there that you're going to have fun uh, making from a bunch of my really good friends that I got to see in Tucson. So it's uh, it's exciting. Um, so those will be shipping out probably in a week or two. Um, we're, we're waiting on a few last things. Some of the items that went in are brand spanking new. Um, the tear cast parts that went in don't even launch until February 15th. So um, it that's part of what's making it, you know, like slowly come out is that I have to wait for a few things, but they're coming. They're coming quickly. So that's where we're at on that. Uh, what else is happening? Um, oh, we have Galentine's on Friday. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we just got the pictures in from the designers. Let me see if I can share my screen for that. Um, Instagram. Let's look. I just posted them onto Instagram. So I was going to take you there to take a quick look. Look at this amazing little bobble box that Christy Friesen is going to be teaching us on Friday at the Galentine's event. So all of the products that you needed to make this were in our Galentine supply kit and the Jesse James Beads bead kit two kits, one on each website. And uh, we have we have all the uh, wire that's in here and the uh, Sculpey, I think is what it's called. Um, let me look, I have it right here. Oh, epoxy, epoxy sculpt. That's what it's called. Uh, the epoxy sculpt is also in our supply kit. And then the beads and things were from our friends over at Jesse James Beads. I think we have a couple of supply kits left, not many. I want to say there's like two or three. So we're really getting low. We do have more of the epoxy sculpt, that blue clay-like substance uh, on the website that you can order now um, and make something similar if you missed the kit. So there's a little more of that. I overbought it so that there was extra in case anybody ended up being frustrated that they missed the kit um, when they see this amazing little project that Christy's going to teach us. So this is actually two parts and it opens up and you can put your little pair of earrings or special little treat inside of it. It's so super cute. I love it. We've also got this fantastic necklace from Brittany Chavers, and she's doing a matching pair of earrings, which will pop up here in just a second. So she's using that great purple softlux colored beading wire, the cube crystals that we also had in our supply kit, and then, of course, some fantastic beads from the Jesse James Bead Mix uh, for this event. Here is what we've got Gem Hawks making. She's doing a take on three different sizes. Um, I think the idea is you can make earrings and a matching pendant. And she's going to show you some different ways to sort of make that same idea uh, in, you know, small, medium, and large. So that's going to be fun. She's using our Softlex craft wire for that. Here we've got uh, the design that Kristen is choosing. She, uh, Kristen Fagan of Softlex Company, she was uh, inspired by Betsy Johnson. When she saw the bead strand, uh, she just thought of Betsy Johnson immediately. And then she looked up some of Betsy's work and was kind of using that as her inspiration piece for this beautiful necklace. And that, of course, uses our Softlex copper colored uh, beading wire. And then also some of the craft wire. And that little heart there at the bottom is, is beautiful. We got that from our friends over at Vintage. And that was in our supply kit as well. And then uh, here is Brittany's earrings. And you never know, you might find some of the other designers uh, are going to make more than one design as well. Because look at this. Here's what Kay said. She's got a bunch of different things here that she would like to show us. She's got a ring and a couple, an earring, a pendant, and you know how fast she works. So she might end up showing us like six designs in her one hour time slot. Um, so <laughs> it'll be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited, um, super excited for it. 
let me stop sharing here and um, get back to business. Yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. I see you guys saw I'm doing a giveaway this hour. If you would like to win, make sure you comment with hashtag kiss. I will pick a winner at the end, but you must be present to end. Um, let's see. I know, Sue, I'm excited too. So that's happening on Friday. Uh, if you want to um, come hang out with us, let me see what time it starts. Let me share my screen again. And this time we will look at the Softlex company website. Let's see when that's, oh, it's right here. Five hour bead around the world event. Let's look inside this item and it'll have the start time. So we're all set. Okay, so it starts at, it's on Friday, February 10th. It starts at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And that will be with Gem Hawks. Then we'll go to K Goss, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll skip over to Arizona to see Kristen Fagan at 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll join Brittany Chambers, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And Christy Friesen will finish us out just like TGBE. <laughs> she, she always, she's just uh, that little cherry on top of everything. She'll be at 5 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, now that I said that, if she's watching, she'll probably be making a cherry or something silly like that. Um, but we're really excited. Uh, February 13 is Galentine's Day. It's a great time to make something for a special gal in your life. Um, so somebody that, you know, maybe has had a little bit of a rough year, um, somebody who is a neighbor or a friend or a sister or auntie or niece, um, you know, you're going to have, you're going to be making five projects at least, if not more over the course of the day. So it'll be really fun. Um, really fun to see what everyone makes. Um, I revealed the chocolate kiss design kit like two weeks ago. So if you were thinking about this one, yes, I revealed it. The, the Galentines uh, we've revealed in a video. I don't remember, but I have it here if you want to look at it real fast. Let me switch to my regular camera. So it's got, this is our supply kit. And then I have the Jesse James beads version too. It has one of these packages, the epoxy soap, which you can still get on our website. I have a few more of these separately if you wanted to buy more or if you miss the kit and you want to buy it, you can still get it. And then in the supply kit, get it out of here, little heart-shaped bag. In our supply kit, we've got two spools of Softlex beading wire in purple and copper. We've got two spools of Softlex craft wire. Um, which a lot of the designers really use, which I'm super excited about. We did the 26 gauge and the 18 gauge. Uh, those are the two gauges that Jem uses the most. And then I guess uh, Kay and um, Christy found that useful too, because they both used it. We have these beautiful purple uh, cube crystals. You can find these in many different colors from our friend uh, Kay Goss. Go to her website, starspeeds.com. Look for, I think it's called Bedoria. And that's where she sells these beautiful crystals in lots of different colors and sizes and shapes. Um, but we, we have a strand of those. And then it included that Vintage Heart, ear wires, some clasps, some crimps, all the supplies. And then Jesse James Beads, let's see what they have. They sent me one of their little mixes. So this is how theirs came. And they had a beautiful um, bead strand. This is the one that Kristen used in her design that she, she felt looked really like Betsy Johnson. 
Oh, thank you for saying that, Solitary. That's so nice. I love that. Thank you. Um, this is the beautiful strand that Brittany Chavers is using in her necklace and her earrings. Really fantastic. I claimed this bead mix for Kay Goss as soon as I saw it. I know she's a purple girl. And I just thought there were some things in here that she would have a lot of fun playing with. So this is the bead mix that Kay is using um, for the event. There's a beautiful bead mix that Jem is using. Very, very elegant with red, black, and clear and white. Silver. And then uh, last but not least, this is the bead mix that Miss Christy got and used to make her little bobble box. So pretty. So everything comes together. You just buy the kit. I don't know if Jesse James Beads has sold out of their bead kits, um, but we have a couple of supply kits left. So I imagine they probably have a couple of bead kits left too, if you want to nab any of that. And that would be found at jessejamesbeads.com. Okay. So... That's Friday. I will see you that day. And I'm your host. So, <laughs> so I'll be there all day having fun and beading in the background. I was really excited to have all the beads because I thought, oh, I can at least be making stuff in the background. Um, thank you. This is one of my new rings uh, that I got in Tucson and I'm in love with it. Uh, this is, is a ring from Afghanistan. And I paid $5 for it because that's the kind of thing you find in Tucson. <laughs> I, love, I love it. I might love it more because of the price. I don't know. Um, okay. What are we going to make today? So uh, last time I opened this, I made a pair of earrings and I made a bracelet Um Maybe we need to make a fun little necklace today. We have, um, did I just swipe that away? I did. We have a really great little chocolate kiss trio um, that you can order on the website. It has red coral, the copper, no, the imperial topaz, and the pink tourmaline. Um, so those are some fun colors that you can use together or intermix with this kit or bead mix. Um, like I said, if you want to buy the bead mix, you've got about 10 minutes to still get that exclusive link to the Zoom after party. I'm kind of in love with these little heart shaped guys. Do those are those holes actually drilled through there? They look like they're closed up. Let me look. Let's do a little investigating. Oh, thank you, Julie. When I stealth bead during the events, <laughs> I like to keep my hands busy and it's very hard for me to, oh, does that go through? Oh, it does go through, just barely. I like to um, be, when other people are beading, I wanna bead too. Aha. Oh, and this one went through too. I had to push it a little bit, but that steel wire uh, pushed it out, whatever was kind of jammed in there. There we go. Did you guys have any issues getting um, through these holes in your little hearts? Hopefully there wasn't an issue. Brenda says, I loved this kit. Need to add my designs to the VIB. Oh, good. And if you have time to come to the Zoom, I'd love to see them over Zoom. I know it's always kind of hard to be on camera, you know, but I would love to see you guys. Um, I also have this little sweet little heart here. So that's kind of cool. I really love these browns. I love the idea of the chocolate and the red together. Ooh, and these are kind of cool too. Hmm. Some little cubes. I'm thinking a really sweet little red necklace would be fun. Although I am kind of seeing a bracelet with this little heart hanging off of it. 
that's somewhere would be fun too okay let me start opening my beads up i have been so looking forward to beading i spent all last week looking at beads and um now i'm very excited to actually <laughs> do some beading <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a red in the center, I think. I'm thinking this one might be nice. And then I think a little gold on either side would be helpful. String that. All right, let's try a chocolate. Yeah, I do see those little red cute beads are almost a little orangey. Is that what you're talking about, Brenda? She says my red cute beads didn't match it in my kit. Yeah, I feel like they're just a tad bit on the orangey side. The red, you know, they're red, but they've got a little more of an orange color. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Um, the brown and the red and the gold is very elegant. I do like that pop of pink, though, if I can get it in there somewhere. Um, the pink can be kind of a nice little addition, too. Ooh, there's a really nice, like, light pink faceted bead. I'm not feeling that, though. I wonder about these. I'm just going to try it. I'm not sure that these work. In this but it's worth a little a little try see how I feel about it I feel like they need their own separate look maybe I'll use those at the zoom party after I have all these beads too this is from the bead strand so this was not included in the kit I believe we have some of these bead strands left, but I've been so busy, I really haven't had a lot of time to uh, take a look. Maybe I'll do this one in the center, this bright red, and then I can bring that red out a little bit. Let's try that and see how it's looking. Remember to comment to win. You, if you comment more than once, it'll filter you out. So just one comment with the um, hashtag kiss is enough to enter. Do you hear my babies, Mia? <laughs> They're getting fired up to go to uh, softball practice. So whenever we have to leave the house, everybody gets exceptionally wild. Um, so yes, you're probably going to overly hear them for the next, I don't know, few minutes. And then once they're out the door, they'll be, it'll be quieter. Hopefully I just kind of, as their mom, I kind of just don't even hear them, <laughs> you know, I was like, who, what? It just fades into the background for me these days. I've given up on trying to keep them quiet when I'm trying to do a video because it's just about impossible. I agree. That strand is really pretty. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Melanie and Mia. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being supportive. It's... um. Not always easy having your kids home all the time like we do, but it is really in so many, so many ways wonderful that our family gets to pretty much always be together. That is looking so elegant. I don't wear a lot of brown. I was just thinking about this the other day when I was thinking about this kit that I don't wear a lot of brown, 
but it's such a pretty color, especially when it's mixed in with like a brighter pop, like a yellow, orange, or red. I really, really like it. And then even blue, blues and browns can be very pretty. It's just like a nice, nice color to mix into things, right? I don't know if we'll have enough gold to make it all the way around. I love how Jesse James Beads is so thoughtful about putting in all those little metal, little metal pieces for us so we can have spacers to add like that little drop of metal. It's very, very pretty. Um, oh gosh, this little heart. I think I'm going to go for that. You know what I just saw and I sent to my husband? I'm not going to do this this year, but I thought it was such an interesting idea. We have a um, space center here called the Shippo Space and Science Center, I think is the exact name. And they are doing overnight dates for Valentine's Day. So you go and you get to look around the museum. You basically camp out on their lawn or they have space inside where you can put your sleeping bags down and sleep. And you get to look through the telescope at the stars at night. And um, they have a dinner and a breakfast. And it just seemed um, seemed like a really sweet Valentine's Day Thing to do that would be just for you and your significant other. Uh, what about the little hearts from the strand? That's what I just picked out. We are on the same wavelength. <laughs> okay. I know, Mia. That's what I was thinking. I was like, that's so unique. I would never, I if I had known earlier, I might have tried to get it in the plan, but it's a little late now for us. Um, but maybe next year if they do it again, just sounded like just really lovely, like good quality time and then doing something very romantic and sweet together. And of course, you know, I love space. So for me, that would be an exceptionally good option. I'm using a bead stopper just to do a little measuring. Um, I suggest always using a bead stopper when you're measuring because it is very annoying <laughs> when your beads go flying. It's really, really rough. Okay. What do we want to do on this end? Do I want to do this one maybe? That could be something. How many of these little beads do I have left? I have a little flower cap, and then I also will have the crimp on that side. Let me see what it looks like. So I'm splitting these bead caps probably would normally go around the same bead, but I'm splitting them to see how it looks. And then I did have these little gold, you'll remember I used a lot of them in my bracelet that I made, which is apparently in my jewelry box. I think I took it to Tucson with me because I loved it so much. I'm just gonna put that on there and that'll ensure that my crimp doesn't slip over the top of that bead. Let's see, I think that's a pretty good size. Let me test test it out. Ooh, it's looking a little big for me. Hmm. It'll be okay though. It'd make a great gift for someone too. So I'm going to go for it. Got to think about who I want to give a, some gifts to for Valentine's Day and drop them off here to some friends. Okay, so the kit comes with a lobster clasp, a couple of them, I think maybe one or two. So you could definitely do that if you wanted to. You can also swap it out for a clasp in your own collection. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. String it on and then take your wire and go back into your crimp tube. And you want to leave enough space that your clasp 
can move around. Always take your little bead stopper and clip that on the end. Straighten out your wires inside of your crimp tube. This little magical crimper has a little half dome on each side. We're going to center, turn, and compress, and keep going around and around. I've been keeping an eye on the VIB group. It's been so fun to see all the things that you guys have already made with this kit. If you're new to our kits, join the Softlex VIB group to see what people are making with the same set of beads that I have out here. Um, it's really fun. You can join us for our next kit as well, which is the um, Wonderland kit. And it has an Alice in Wonderland theme. That's pretty cute. I'm just going to string back through. And you can use a jump ring if you prefer. I usually just connect right to that loop. I like to crimp it so it's in a circle. Um, so that I know that there's enough flexibility, enough uh, extra space for the wire. So I'm just going to come right in and crimp now while it's in that circular shape. And there may be a little bit of slack. I'll show you when I come out. But you never want to pull it so tight that it's putting a lot of stress and wear and tear on the wire. Um, that is how you end up getting breakage and by leaving a little bit of space it allows that design to very nicely flow in a circle whereas if you try to tighten it up and do it straight then you won't have that little bit of space needed see that little space there that's supposed to be there that's what gives it a nice shape when it attaches over here so there's no extra wires showing there, but it just looks really, really nice. Let's add this little heart, maybe a couple other little things. I don't know, possibly. Um, I like to do a little jump ring. This would be kind of cute on there. Let's see, we've got our extra wire here. You can always keep these little scraps. They're very useful for attaching things at the last minute. Um, definitely worth holding on to. I'm going to grab another crimp. If you didn't want to show the red wire, you could even take some of these little doodaddies here, the little gold guys that are left. I think everybody got one strand of these little tiny check glass beads. Of course, I can't seem to string it because I'm on camera and... That's what happens when you're on camera. <laughs> but you could string these. I'm, I'll string some. I'm going to I'm going to force myself to do this on camera. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I like how shiny they are and it'll almost give the effect of a real metal jump ring. So, string as many as you want. I'm probably going to add I was thinking this one and then this one just to see what it looks like. Let me see. So does it cover up the rose too much though? I don't know. Let's do just the rose. I hate to. Oops, I just one of my little beads there. I hate to cover up that pretty rose. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm making basically a wire jump ring. I'm going to attach the two ends of the soft flax after I've beaded around it to make a nice ring that I can attach into or onto here somewhere. Um, I haven't decided where exactly yet. So let me add some more of those little metal beads. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Becky. 
Oh, thank you guys. You're always so sweet to me. I mean, I have such a great job. I get to come on here on Wednesdays at three o'clock Pacific and hang out. Today, I thought uh, Tracy would be doing the beading and I was going to do stealth beading in the background <laughs> like I do, uh, but it ended up being not working that way. But we will have Tracy next Friday and that'll be really fun too. So a week from this coming Friday. I'm put two more on this side to even it out and then we'll see if that's too big. It might be too big. Oh, come on, little check beads. You can do it. Did you guys enjoy seeing all of our pictures from Tucson? I had such a blast. I can't even begin to tell you. It was so fun to see my friends after so long. Um, some people I hadn't seen in years in person, you know, so that was just really, really special. So did you see how I did that? I took one wire one way, the other wire the other way, and made a little ring. So before I do anything, though, I want to see, is that too big? That seems kind of oversized. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take just like a couple Take two off each side. The trick isn't having it not be too big or too small. And you also have to go through this little extra loop here. Um, but also being able to get your crimping plier in there to crimp, you know, because it's kind of a small space. Let me move this down. I think that's a better size. That looks good to me. So you also want to be really careful, like slide in carefully and get your um, crimpers in there, but you don't want to accidentally crush one of your beads. So just be really thoughtful about where those pliers are compressing so that you don't accidentally. And if you do ding one of your beads, it, it'll fall off the wire. I mean, It'll just make a little more wire exposed. Okay, and then once you feel good about it, it's like a little metal ball, you're just gonna come in and trim. And this is a good way to add like any charms or anything that you're excited about. Um, Adding to your design, you just make a little jump ring. If you don't have jump rings already, you can make your own little soft flex version. And then you could even hang more things off of there if you wanted to, to add to it. I think I'll leave it there. I think that's pretty cute, just like that. And I just love that little heart it is so sweet. And those were only available in the kit. Let's see what you guys are saying over here. I have a, I have a Zoom party to get to. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. Um, oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Becky. Uh, yes, you could totally use it as an extension. I bet you could uh, clasp right to it if you wanted to. The Zoom party is in 19 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go through and make sure there aren't any questions. I agree, Thomas. The Flintstones was fun. Um, if you're wondering what he's talking about, I can actually probably show you. Let me look at my share screen. And then I'll do the giveaway here at the end. Um, here's our Instagram, you guys. Let me scroll down to our Tucson stuff. 
So here is our TGBE group. That was so much fun. We had a whole night where we all hung out, all the folks that were there at the show. Um, we had a great time. Also, did you guys see we're doing a shopping spree? So all of your orders uh, will give you entries to win the shopping spree. And um, that's going on right now at softlexcompany.com. Oh, tool magic. Um, we are no longer going to be carrying tool magic. So if you love it, make sure you get it. Here's my girls picking some uh, pendants that are going to be going into a live sale. They're beautiful African brass pendants. I think you guys are going to love those. Um, here's my family in Tombstone. Uh, we took an afternoon and drove down there. It's like an hour and a half away from Tucson. Um, was really, really nice just to step away from the beads for a few hours <laughs> and see my family a little bit more. There's that bracelet that I made from the uh, Chocolate Kiss design kit a couple weeks ago. I love that bracelet. And here we go. Here's Neele and I as the Flintstones. Um, we had, I had so much fun. I got to hang out with Neele a lot, which was really, really special. Um, he's such a special, kind, wonderful human being. So, and everyone who spends time with him feels that way. It was really, really fun. Um, what else? Oh, we got to hang out with Andrew and William via phone. <laughs> that was nice. I picked up some fantastic uh, pendants from Andrew and I gave one to Kristen. So she's going to be doing a demonstration on free spirit beading on some other ways you can uh, paint and add uh, decoration to their wood pendants. And we got to see Brittany, who's going to be with us on Friday for the Galentine's event. I think it was my first time getting to actually physically see her in person and give her a hug. So that was really special um, and a lot of fun. Um, we got I got to take Neelay to dinner with my family, and that was something else. <laughs> He's so patient, and I'm sure that margarita helped. Um, but, you know, going to dinner with three little kids is always an interesting experience. Um, and he handled it like the gem that he is. There's one of my other rings, and look, it has like a little rabbit etched into the onyx on top for the year of the rabbit. And I just happened to pick it. I didn't realize it was a rabbit till later. There's Cynthia and Azalea putting together our order of Green Girl Studios pieces. And then, of course, Kristen and I with them. And here's one other picture of us at the TGBE gathering. Kristen and I were in this booth um, picking out things, and we both picked out the same ring in two different colors. And would you not believe it? Kristen's favorite color of Softlux beading wire is probably the lapis blue, the dark blue, and mine is probably the turquoise. Um, so it matched our favorite colors of beading wire too, which was kind of funny. Um, so we were ring twinsies when we both wear them. And oh, this was fun. Gail Crossman Moore uh, was showing us, I think for Julie Haymaker, how to shape the shrinkadinks into beading parts. I think I'm going to get this kit. It looks super fun. And maybe I can get them to come on to a live beading party um, with us one of these days so you guys can see how this works too. We got to see Kelly uh, from Kelly's Bead Boutique, both at the TGBE night, but then we ran into her just on the show floor, too. Um, we visited with John Bead and Beading House, who were both at the To Be True Blue show. And then here we are with one of my favorite people, Danielle Wicks. And that was the first time I've gotten to meet her in person and give her a hug, too. So it was really, really a special uh, week. We had so much fun. Um, I missed all of you, though, and I missed beating. So I'm glad to be back. It looks like we've got 39 entries for our giveaway. I'm going to give you two minutes to comment hashtag kiss 
And if you are um, if you are in the the drawing, you may just win a prize here at the end. So a couple minutes just to get your last minute entry in before I click draw. And um, let me look at some of your comments while I'm waiting here. Oh, I see some coming. No need to comment more than once. Yeah, it won't count you again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm giving away the Chocolate Kiss Design Kit today, but if you've already gotten it, don't worry. We'll give you the Wonderland or Future Kit if that is better for you. All right. I'm going to give you just a couple more minutes. Last chance before I click draw. I feel like it needs to be an even 45. <laughs> Is that is that um, nuts? I don't know. Um, for, I'm gonna go. Oh, there it goes. I'm clicking it. Forty five entries. Who will our lucky winner be today? Sue! Yay! Congratulations, Sue. So Thomas, um, will you please work with Sue to make sure she gets her kit? Sue, if you could email info at softlixcompany.com with your address and let them know you won a chocolate uh, kiss design kit or let us know if you already have that one and you would like a different one and we'll make that happen too. You could even pick the Galentine's Day kit if you prefer um, coming up for Friday. So hopefully Sue's here. Let me go check and hopefully she's here sue w are we oh there she is sue as in waldheim nice well congratulations sue thank you for hanging out with me today and i will see all of you let me stop sharing here I will see all of you on the Zoom party if you're going. So again, it may just be like you and and me and, and two people. But uh, if you want to come hang out, please do. And we'll try to schedule the next one a little further out and make sure you have the link ahead of time. And we'll work a little further ahead. But I think it would be nice to have a situation where we can talk to each other more freely and uh, share ideas and just be able to kind of hang out. So. I would like to do it more often. Let's see if we can make it happen. Thanks for being here with me today, you guys. Uh, sending you lots of love. Make sure you get your orders in to be entered into our shopping spree. I believe we do five $50 shopping sprees. So you have five chances to win, uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, we have lots of great stuff on the website that you can check out. We have our... our Actually, was the shopping spree last week? Am I talking about last week's promotion because I was in Tucson? I am, aren't I? This week, we just started Valentine's Day is on sale. So they must be picking the winners this week. This week is the holiday category. Oh, boy. That's what Tucson does to you. It makes you feel like you missed a whole week of life. <laughs> Um, so, uh, shopping spree is done. I can't wait to see who won it. <laughs> and we have all of our Valentine's things on sale, including our chocolate kiss design kit, probably the Galentine's Day kit. Those things are probably all on sale. All right. Hopefully I see you on the Zoom. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for being here. And you can find more about us at softlexcompany.com.